Hello guys, here is an update of the status with uh, this new petition asking local governments everywhere to start testing food uh, for glyphosate and to make all readings public uh, in, in every uh, corner of uh, Canada, USA and the rest of the world for that matter. So here is the status of this uh, petition as of a few days ago. And uh, you can see the list of uh, countries, starting with Canada on top with nearly 800, followed by United States, and then India, which has got 10, United Kingdom with eight supporters, Australia seven, and then one each from Costa Rica, Finland, Germany, Mexico, and Norway. And then we have uh, province-wise province in Canada, uh, on top is uh, Ontario with more than 300 support supporters, followed by uh, British Columbia with uh, 200, and then Alberta, Quebec, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, uh, Saskatchewan, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nunavut and uh, Northwest Territories, and Yukon Territory. So uh, what is interesting here is that the East Coast, which is not very heavily populated, especially uh, in the provinces of uh, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, there were quite a lot of supporters, uh, relatively speaking, and that is a good sign, uh, or that's a sign that uh, a lot of uh, people on the East Coast are very concerned about uh, glyphosate being uh, used in increasing amount around them. So this is a good sign and I hope that they will also help out identify more local public servants in those places who should be approached by this petition system to start testing food for glyphosate. Then comes the breakdown city-wise and right on top with maximum support is Toronto, then Calgary, Edmonton, Vancouver, Ottawa, Surrey, Nanaimo, Hamilton, Mont Montreal, Delta, Victoria, Winnipeg, Kishner, London, Mississauga, Brampton, Langley, Kelowna and Oakville. I left out the other many, many, many towns and, and villages and localities which has got uh, fewer than six support as of a few days ago. So this is uh, the basic uh, background of the support base for the petition. Now there is another statistics that uh, I would like to talk about and this is where we need some help from people. This is the list of decision makers uh, identified in the petition who will get emails asking them to start testing food for glyphosate for the people. That means these guys are recognized by the supporters to be uh, public servants in a position uh, to start testing food. The whole list has now 70 persons identified and uh, the top six are uh, Americans. It is sorted according to country in descending order. So six from USA and then two from India and 62 from Canada. And out of the six from USA, the top two have already received uh, emails because they were uh, older entries. And then this green highlighted four more has just come in and they have not yet received uh, an email. So that's why they are uh, highlighted at the moment. And eventually all of them, of course, will uh, start getting regular emails. So, so uh, the idea of this video is to encourage supporters like yourselves from Washington State and elsewhere to give me, give us the names, the ranks, and the emails of more public servants in Washington state itself uh, who should be notified by this petition and requested to start testing food for glyphosate. People such as mayors and councillors of cities like, you know, Seattle, Tacoma, Olympia, Yakima, I mean, all various towns and, and, and localities and districts within Washington state. And of course, it doesn't have to be only Virginia. We are also looking for similar feedback from Oregon and Idaho and Wyoming and Nevada and, and the rest of USA for that matter and further afield in all the countries, including, of course, the rest of Canada. But this uh, video is made specifically to appeal to uh, people in Washington area who are beginning to rise up or wake up to this uh, petition to help me get more details of more public servants there and also to keep everybody appraised of 
how this petition is gradually um, spreading and evolving and getting more mature and having more targeted decision makers. That's it for now. Thank you. Over and out.